presenting our officials for this match. First referee, Mr. Herbert Matematico, Asian international referee. Second referee, Mr. Bobby Celso, national referee. Let's call on our starting lineup from our Akari Chargers. With jersey number two, Trisha May Genesis. At number seven, Critch Makaslang. Wearing jersey number eight, Janelle Maragino. At number ten, Princess Ezra Madrigal. Number two, 17, Faith Janine Nisperos. And at number 24, Christine Joy Soyud. Starting libero, number one, Sheila Marie Pineda. Head coach, Mr. Jorge Souza De Brito. Calling on our Cream Line Cool Smashers. Team captain wear jersey number two, Eliza Valdez. At number six, Jeanette Panaga. Wearing jersey number 12, Julia Melissa de Guzman. Number 13, Celine Eliza Domingo. Number 18, Diana May Carlos. And number 23, Jessica Margaret Balanza. Starting libero, number 11, Kyla Liana Atienza. Head coach, Mr. Sherwin Meneses. This match is under the regulation and supervision of the Games and Amusements Board. Here are your stars for the Kyra Chargers and the Creamline Cool Smashers. Now start a new way to watch PVL via the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. Neil, starters here on the line. Creamline looking very familiar. Akari Chargers, a bit of changes here as well. What do you make of these two? Well, for Creamline, it's the same starting unit. Uh, and for Akari, no din din Santiago Mana, but still in that first seven. Uh, no Michelle Cobb as well. Coach Jorge opting to go with Jaja Marginot. Kasi, syempre, Michelle Cobb also has to recover from her sickness as well. So, hindi rin... Okay, siguro na simulan mo siya agad. Uh, maybe she can uh, start as a second setter for now. And Trisha Genesis, after that 15-point explosion, she deserves uh, that spot as a outside hitter of Akari. That's Carlos trying to get Creamline going here. As both teams looking for the first point. Again, Akari needs the win here today if they want to stay alive in contention for the semis. Good rally to start off here. Jenna Galanza. Jenna Galanza, we were talking about her a while ago, saying that as a second option offensively, always dangerous for Green Line, and she's showing that here. And a while ago, I also mentioned that once upon a time in her PBL career, she was the opposite hitter of Cream Line. On the back that time, just a bit too long. Two no start for the Green Line Cool Smashers. Again, we call them immaculate here to start out the conference. Perfect record here so far. And you have to wonder just about how they approach this game, considering Lusop na sila sa semis. How long will they stay at full thrust, or how long will they put pedal to the metal? For now, sa Cool Smashers na side no. Ang totoong laban, I guess, would start in the semifinals. So they only need to wrap up the pool phase yeah. and then uh, they will go up against strong teams as well with our foreign guest teams. Of course, thank you very much for joining us here today on One Sports, the Filipinas Live app, One Sports Plus and Signal Play. I'm Paolo de Rosario, joined by Neil Flores, Kyla King Sus on the sidelines here with us. Eliza Valdez. Had to get her first point. Now Scott's Carlos turn. Good defense played by Akari at the net. Scott's Carlos again. Now Scott's Carlos makes it a 3-1 lead here for Akari. And Kyla Kingsu has the story. Kyla, what do you have? 
Well, Neil, as you have mentioned, it is the penultimate day for the pool phase here in the PBL. And although Creamline has already secured its spot, there is still a second one in Pool A still up for grabs. And Akari Chargers have been spending the past few days really working double time for that. Now, before this game, I was able to speak with Akari's Faith Nesperos, who shared with me that entering her first game against Creamline, there's no denying how excited she is to face her Athenian idols, Eliza Valdez and Gia Morado de Guzman, who in her words are a big reason why she is here today. Faith said, and I quote, they are some of the Atas I wish I was able to play with before. So it is definitely going to be a challenge, but it is one that I am excited to embrace. It's, it's still early in this match, but you can expect that that's exactly what we'll be seeing today. Now let's go back to enjoying this matchup, which you can experience better on the Pilipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. Now back to you, Paolo. Thank you very much. I was kind of looking through that story, of course, Faith, Faith Nispero saying that well, on the other side, yung mga ate niya from Ateneo, or could have been Ate in Ateneo, of course, were a big inspiration, just like they are for many here in the country. Just being able to watch them here in the PVL and seeing them soar, and of course, for the national teams as well. And there's a bit of a delay here on the side of, uh, on the side of Creamline, I believe. And Neil, I'm not quite yeah. sure what's happening. Do you have any insight on us? I think that Akari is contesting the jersey of the, the Libero of Cream Line. They're saying that it is the wrong color. So we do have to clarify everything before we resume uh, this game. Mm -hmm. so, so all of that being dealt with here right now and of course it may seem trivial to some people but then in a league as professional as this those things are contestable yeah. and have been contested in the past. So you take a look at what's happening right now of course a bit of a delay here everyone just trying to make sure that everything is all set as i believe the liberos are now going to have to get a change of jerseys just to match the colors prepared so they were actually taking a look at some of the things here some of the paperwork required so when we return hopefully we'll have action back don't go away PVL, so a bit of a break here, a bit of a delay, and Neil Flores has to scoop for us here. <laughs> Neil, what, what do you have? Why was there a delay and what happened exactly? Again, it was the jersey uniform of the Liberos of Greenland. They had to change very quick, but the yellow card was issued for delaying the game. Well, let's take a look at this here. Uh, so we're still reeling from uh, that quick break as it was a carry rule. Was able to take full advantage of it. And you know, Neil, that's why we call you the real deal, because you got <laughs> all the news exactly when we need it. Uh, be there already, so you would send that straight to the net, and the Dreamline double up their lead once more. And so it had uh, one of her best performances in their previous game. She scored uh, 18 against the Cherry Eagle crossovers. It was a five-set thriller. They fell short. But here against the uh, cream line, they really do have to take care about these uh, simple errors. And so you from the back, wanting to replicate what you did last time around. Again, 18 points in that five center. It was a loss, unfortunately, for them against the Charitigo crossovers. Take a look at that approach, the swing, and despite the presence of blocking, unable to keep that away. One of the keys to victory really for Akari is the involvement of their middle blockers. Right now, most of their attack points really come uh, from the wings. Eli Soyud, Trisha Genesis, and uh, Faith Desperos. That's why 
at the end of the game, lagi dalawa o tatlo yung bawa blocks sa kanila. But now Jaja Marginot gets involved in the scoring picture with that gift coming from Creamline. Oh, Jaja Marginot able to get the point there to even things up. Had around only three points last time. Would love to add to her tally. Have to take a look at that again. Mesperos on the service line once more, trying to look for the first win of Akari here in the conference. It would be the most important win, considering this is a battle for survival. And as we hyped her up, well, I hyped her up, Neil. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's another service error. That's the second on my unofficial count. Well, that's something that they have to clean up. And with Eliza Valdez on the service line, the Phil Sports Arena comes alive. Maragino to Genesis. And Akari off to a good start here, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Giants that are cream line. And Akari has that uh, passing uh, medio out of the setter zone. Trisha Genesis should expect a lot of out-of-system plays to be thrown at her. Rich Makaslang, standing at 5'10". And that's an ace. Again, it's Akari here off to a good start. And you have to wonder, was Creamline maybe a bit rattled by that <laughs> delay with the changing of the jerseys? Because since then, Akari has looked really good in this first frame. For a moment, yes. And uh, that would be the game plan also of Akari to target Tots Carla so that she can uh, be off timing dun sa D-balls. Again, targeted her once more. Gemma Galanza. Good net defense displayed by Akari, and that one's long. So Liza Valdez sends that long. Two-point lead here for the Akari Chargers. Liza Valdez definitely under that ball. Now Akari has a two-point lead. Heavy serving working on the side of the Chargers, finding the right targets, forcing Creamline to go to uh, the left side. Well, Critch has been on the service line for quite a while right now as Akari holds a two-point lead. Galanza. Marginot with a set up to Genesis. That time, said Domingo. Able to show off for blocking chops. And every time Creamline score, the volume level increases here at the Phil Sports <laughs> Arena. Still chasing here, six serving seven. Soyud from the back. Backside, Tots Carlos. Off to the bit of finesse in that one. Petrus Peros could not find the line. Petrus Peros still trying to get her range of these pipe attacks, but they were already teammates. Talking about Janja Maraginot in college, so connection will not be a problem for these two. I saw Michelle Gumabo there on the bench a while ago. Again, it is an embarrassment of riches in terms of offensive options. But it's a cream line cool smashers. We'll see who shines here today. Pineda, able to find Genesis. The defense is played by Domingo Galanza. He said that Galanza is a second option, but for a lot of teams, she could be first because she's just that good offensively. Quick timeout, uh, technical timeout here. Let's listen in.
you're watching PBL, Bingo Plus, the first live stream of bingo in the Philippines. Thank you to them as we take a look at the 8 7 score here for the Green Line Cool Smashers. Gemma Galanza off to a great start here, Neil. And you have to feel that Gemma has a very good game here. It just makes that much harder for a carry to get a result. She embraces the role of the second top scorer, but uh, make no mistake, she can be the top scorer for this team. Akari, who led by two at one point, and trailed by two after good blocking displayed once again by Greenline. Well, the red from uh, Pang Panaga didn't even uh, guard the middle blocker of Akari. And Padaga, Domingo, they've got the block points here today for the Green Line Cool Smashers. And an ace as well. Faith Espera will want to have that back, and then all of a sudden it's a three point lead here for Green Line. Five and no run for the Cool Smashers. Faith Espera has been at the target here in the pros in her rookie year, so. She really needs to improve on that first pass because there is no problem when we talk about serving, mm -hmm. attacking, and blocking. Stoy pushing the ball. And that time is Panaga. He tried to get the point of the cream line. Panaga again. And cream line have been unstoppable. We said a while ago with a little delay, it felt like Akari took advantage and all of a sudden cream line have steadied the ship. Quick time out here on the floor. Let's listen in. If you're not able to spike line, you can drop on the line. There's an opposite there to take the ball. Then you play. There's no quick ball. You go to the open. Huh? Okay. We just hit the ball. They you take in front of you. No problem. Stay there. Just receive a ball. She'll take in front. Okay? Well, they needed that timeout in a big way. Talking about the Akari Chargers now on the losing end of a 6 0 run against the Green Line Cool Smashers. Coach Jorge with a few words there, Neil. What could you glean from that huddle? Right now, the passing of Akari has been inconsistent. So for Trisha Genesis, she has to anticipate the double block set up by Creamline. And when you are faced with a double block, you, you really have to find the way through the defense. So you can muna mag drop ball to change the tempo, or you can actually hit it off the hands of the shorter blocker, which was Jid de Guzman. So that's a good response coming from Trisha Genesis. Timely timeout. timeout. Yeah. Timely timeout there from Coach Jorge as the Akari Chargers look to get back into this one. Again, Green Line went on a 6-0 run to balloon their lead. As Marginot with the serve here, 8 serving 11. Liza just pushes that across. Trying to make something out of nothing there. And that's Kamaga's turn. Gia, and I'll go again. Good rally we have here so far. Atienza looking for Torx. And Torx just hits that below the tape. That was a difficult set to hit. And right now, Wakari, all well, they want to build on this, a couple of back to back points for them. And that's important because Creamline were building so much momentum, it was like a steam train. And all of a sudden, Akari going a little run of their own. Panaga, that connection will be there all day. Ezra Madrigal really has to put her eyes on Pax Panaga. Because even if they see the receipt of the cream line, they will be able to get a good Gia de Guzman to go to the quick attack. Madrigal was a little bit late to cover that spot. Eight time best setter. And it's looking for her ninth. Talking about Gia. Genesis, stinging hit there, still alive. As Atienza was there, Tots Carlos. Soyud. Now Galanza's turn. 
Brooks Carlos with a swing in the finish. I was about to say, nakakapanibago na medyo mabagal yung simula ni Tox Carlos, but finally she gets a point for the Cool Smashers, regaining that four-point lead against the Chargers. Second point there for Tox Carlos here today. And by her very high standards, he said, yeah, hindi tayo sanay na medyo mabagal yung simula niya, but that can change in a hurry. 13 to 9 at the moment in favor of Creamline. Genesis. Atienza looking for Galanza. That was definitely a net touch. Set was a little too tight. Dun sa net, she tried to hammer that through the defense of Akari. Well, Akari right now just trying to stay within touching distance. And speaking of touching distance, that definitely was a touch there for Galanza. to go quickly there as Tots Carlos was able to, unable to sneak that in rather. And that will result in a challenge here, a net touch is being challenged here by the Creamline Cool Smashers. Let's see whether or not they have a case. And for those interested, every point is important. We've seen in recent games how important challenges yeah. could be. And here's an early one, but every point counts. I believe this is going to be our first challenge of this game. Looking for a net fault challenge. The Creamline Cool Smashers trying to increase their three-point lead. And of course, you know, I want to take this opportunity to... Oh, wait, the replay's there, so let's take a look at that here. And it's close, but no cigar. And we're going to wait for the official confirmation here. On the replay monitor, no touch. So, unsuccessful challenge here for the Creamline Cool Smashers. And Nakari breathing a bit easier as a lead that shrinks by one to just two. Challenge is unsuccessful. Point and serve for the Chargers. Again, you know, they are now points that coaches could win with challenges mm. and it feels it feels like such a big weapon here from the bench for every team here in the PBL. Almost an ace, Eliza Valdez able to swing that across, Marginot, but Carlos able to be quick and Carlos using the tape unable to sneak that in. Back-to-back -back attack errors from uh, Tots Carlos. Now, oh, Akari's just maximizing the three points given to them by Creamline. You saw a slight attack coming from Madrigal. This is the ball distribution that we want to see on the side of the Chargers. There will be a timeout from the Cool Smashers. <laughs> Pag medyo walang receive, kahit sino pwede mag-set para mapalo ng maganda. Eh hindi, walang receive, nagkitinginan, ang layo ng Gia. Pwede ka naman mag-set, pwede ka mag-set, pwede ka mag-set para mapalo ng maganda. Walang, walang ah. Ah, let's go, let's go, let's go. All in, cream line! Coach Sherwin there with a few words of wisdom, empowering everyone to be able to set. But Neil, how important is that in particular? Communication is uh, key, especially for a solid unit like Creamline. And uh, I think the unusual times that we see them uh, looking at each other, waiting for each other to react on that first pass. And uh, when the setter asks for help during the second ball, everybody should uh, anticipate that as well. Well, again, opportunity here for Akari to tie this one up. Christian Genesis with two points already via two attacks. And targeting Eliza Valdez. And with the push, kept alive. Carlos through the blockers. Finding that uh, seam between Soyun and Madrigal. Another look at that right in between the two of them. And that was something that thought would take advantage of all day. Jim Galanza, who had a very hot start, got a bit quiet there. And as I said that, scores an ace. He's better still having a difficult time getting the first ball to Maraginot. Another look at that, and that has been the Waterloo here of Akari, the reception. 
Bradley makes it through, but kept alive here. And a bit of a miscommunication there. Chance here for Cream Line to look for Eliza Valdez. Eliza has started to look healthy as the conference advanced. And with that, her first point, she's hoping for a lot more. In fact, she doesn't want to get off the court. Kind of technical timeout now. We'll have more when we... globe and cheer them on live inside the venues. The FIBA Basketball World Cup 2023 single game pass is now available for as low as 499 pesos. Get your tickets at SM Tickets, Ticketnet, or philippines-ticketing.worldcup.basketball. Neil, I'm not going to ask you whether or not you're going to watch the FIBA Basketball World Cup games, <laughs> but as we focus it up here in the PBL, Dreamline has for an error of Akari. Akari have found ways to stay within touching distance against Dreamline. The consistency not necessarily there, and it'll be interesting to see how they flip things up as this game goes on. But so far, so good here for Dreamline. Fermentilia will replace Fitness Peros as their outside hitter. Coach Jorge looking to find a good pass. De Jesus looking for Carlos. Tried to finish that one. Thoughts again. Can they keep this alive? Not that time as Thoughts Carlos. You can see the confusion on the side of Akari. Madrigal was gearing up to block Eliza Valdez, but that reverse set of Jede Guzman. Got her so late for the right pin. Well, that a lot of effort there, Trisha Genesis, but nothing there. Timeout again on the floor. Let's listen in. One only, one B, one C. And on the side, you stay here, put feet for her, and the ball's for you. Okay, the ball's for you. Short, high, and you go there. No matter what happens. Okay. familiar face here wearing an Akari shirt and they would want to see her in action sooner rather than later but would have to wait quite a bit. TV Sharma in attendance. I think Maggie guest siya sa fan stream natin yeah. sa PBL. She so should. I don't know si, like when you have uh, so many so many great names just around the venue. Syempre kan kuha natin yan para sa Filipinas live fan stream. And it'll be a pleasure hearing from them because they're very free speaking, so especially with Mela Tunay yeah. in control <laughs> of the conversation. So make sure you can catch that on the Filipinas live app. Yamagalanza with the serve. Marginot looking for Soyo. Good blocking there, displayed by Creamline. And a second time around, it works for Akari. That should have been a Tots Carlos first ball. Gia was already shouting at her to get that first ball para makapag set siya. That's another miscue for Creamline. A little, con a little conversation there between Tots and Gia as they await the serve. Tots Carlos. Galanza looking for Liza Valdez. Atienza gives it back to life. 
Soyud. Great save by Gemma Galanza as Tots Carlos sends it back. Meeting at the net, and we play on. Almost a miscue there from Creamline. Eliza. Panaga ends the rally, much to the delight of everyone in pink in the venue. Amazing coverage being uh, shown uh, by the Creamline Cool Smashers. Magandang blocking pattern ng Akari. They've been returning the hits of the attackers of Creamline. It's just that the support behind the attackers of Creamline have been impeccable. And uh, that's why they get a lot of chances to run their transition plays and counter attack compared to Akari. Phil Kainget Caetano comes in. The service specialist. It's Marginot. Gives it to Soyud. Hit that hard to Tots. And almost a miscue there, but Elias is there to save it. And we play on. Soyud will send it free. Chance ball here for Creamline to deal with. But Carlos. Oh, making something out of nothing. And take a look at the appreciation show for that set. What a set. That will go to our highlight deal for sure. <laughs> A hundred percent. Take a look at that again. Look at the control of uh, Gia de Guzman. Still a perfect set for Tom Carlos. Yeah, the body control to avoid the net. It's it's just incredible. Domingo. Uh, Domingo able to get that point to push the lead up 21 to 13. Creamline has been on a roll. They're firing from all angles at this point after that short rest babalik to Pate Nisperos. Hoping to actually produce the attack points for Akari in the next few rotations. It hasn't worked out here for Akari offensively. It was a different story at the start of the match. And that time, Soyud hammering that off the hands of the blockers. A double substitution will come in for Coach Jorge Dindin Santiago Manabat and Michelle Cobb will replace Eli Soyd and uh, Jaja Marginot. So this will provide uh, Michelle Cobb more options in the front line. You have a really tall opposite hitter in uh, Dindin Santiago Manabat. Then you also have Peyton Espero still waiting to get her touches here in this opening set. Well, if you're a Kari, if you're an Akari fan, you want Michelle Cobb to get healthy and right as soon as possible. Hits the tape, barely got it through, but they'll take it. Cobb with the setup. And Santiago Manabat, in her first swing, gets that to go. First attempt, first point for Santiago Manabat. And uh, I'm expecting her to be in the starting unit come the second set. Well, the second set, well, the lineup here for a guard in the second set might look completely different compared to what we saw in the first. So let's see how Creamline adapt to it. It's Michelle Cobb sizing this one up. 15, serving 21. Tots Carlos. And when she gets set up like that, it is almost impossible to stop. Bilis din kasi ng rest actually from Carlos. It's really enough to get through the seam of the blockers. A double substitution this time for the Cool Smashers. It's Kyle Negrito and Michelle Gumabao. Oh, it's Michelle Gumabao checking in. Again, the offensive options for the Screamline team. It's incredible. Jago Manabat. And they're saying they got the touch, so the point will go Akari's way. That's two for two for Dindin Santiago Manabat. Faith Nisperos will move to that back line. She has a powerful serve, so yeah. as long as Pumasok Yan sa court ng cream line, uh, they can have a difficult time in picking that up. Good serve there from Faith. Eliza Valdez. And Eliza Valdez, we say that she's looking healthier and healthier, and that felt on Eliza's swing of bowl. You 
know, bulk of the sets really go to Tox Carlos, but when the setters put that ball up for Eliza Valdez, she tries her best to get these clean hits in. Cobb to Genesis. Romabao. From the back, Nisperos. And that's a shot of confidence for Faith Nisperos getting a point from uh, that pipe attack. All right, now it may be difficult for Akari to take away this frame, but they want to make sure that they have some rhythm going to the next one. Rich Makaslang, who actually had a very productive stint on the service line a while ago, early on in the game. Umabao. And Michelle Gumabao wants in on the scoring action. Substitutions for both teams working well, so good job to the coaches as well for putting in the second fingers at that right moment in time. Creamline now at set point. Domingo. Well, sent that long, so we'll continue playing set number one here. Now, Danny Ravenna is back as uh, the backup libero, second libero for the Akari Chargers. Uh, so it will check back in. So, Dino Santiago Manabat trying to make an impact here, make an impression, especially before the second frame. And I believe the officials are having a discussion again. It's a slight delay and eventually all sorted out. So Akari trying to extend this even further. 18, 7, 24. Panaga. Not that time. Umabao. Genesis able to save it. Soyu gives a chance ball here. Galanza. Just a bit too wide, great idea. Everyone was really excited, but unable to execute. That was a perfect set from Negrito. Combination play in the middle. Na late yung blockers, but that was just too strong for Gemma Galanza. Well, how long can Akari extend this? Jago Manabat. And the service error will mean the cream line takes set number one, 25 to 19. A bit of a slow, sluggish start for the cream line tool smashers. But in the end, they found the rhythm, they found the momentum, and take the first frame comfortably, 25 to 19. Don't go away, set two. I mean
Apple new streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month to catch the PVL, PBA, and so much more. Set number one goes the way of the Dreamlight Cool Smashers, 25 to 19. Cal Dersari here alongside Neil Flores. Joining us as well as uh, Kyla King Su on the sidelines. Let's take a look at some of the highlights here from set number one. Medyo mabagal ang simula ng Dreamline Cool Smashers, Neil, especially with Akari actually complaining about the uniforms sa simula uh, about the liberos of the Dreamline Cool Smashers. It felt like they had a bit of momentum, but eventually Dreamline right to the ship. You know, in set number one, it was really the heavy serving of Dreamline that gave a difficult time to Akari. There were a lot of service aces for sure. Makita natin yan sa stats later on. They were targeting Fitness Peron. And uh, the blocking of Dreamline was also present and the support behind the blocking. 15 attacks, 2 aces, 2 blocks for the Cool Smashers. And for Akari, they weren't able to register any block points, but they were getting a lot of touches from the attackers of Dreamline. So that is a good sign for them. So come the second set, first things first, you have to establish your first pass, and then everything will come along for sure for the Chargers. Well, we felt that Akari was building a bit of momentum, especially towards the end of the first frame. A lot of key substitutions made by Coach Jorge for the Akari side. Still, though, Dreamline were able to stay as excellent as they've been as of late and were able to see that set away. Need to take a look at what Akari need to change. You mentioned the reception. You mentioned all of the, you mentioned a while ago about the substitutions. What do they do? What they need to do to get things right here to start off set number two? This is a good decision for Coach Jorge to field in uh, Didin Santiago Manabat. When you have a veteran like her on the floor, she can contribute in a lot of things. Attacking, blocking, yeah. serving. These are the things that she can contribute. So that's an additional option now for Jaja Maraginot. Well, just a while ago, we uh, focused on uh, Gia, on Gia as well as Todd and Gemma Galanza for the Cream and Cool Smashers. The combinations that they have been coming up with here have been incredible so far. So right now, set number two, Gia Morada de Guzman on the service line. Of course, let's see how it all starts out here. Again, a slow start for Cream Line in set number one. They don't want to replicate that here. And as I say that, an ace. Well, we said that the first ball needs to work for Akari. And almost immediately, you can see why. That's still uh, the problem for the Chargers right now. Someone has to step up and actually get a bigger zone. It can be Bangtineda getting 50% uh, of the zone para mas konti na lang yung iisipin ng mga outside hitters. And of course, remember, oh, Coach Jorge almost getting in on the action. As another one for Creamline. Guimarada de Guzman has been such a weapon there. Again, Creamline are actually, as a team, the best serving team in the league. And of course, GS number two in terms of best servers, number one being Gemma Galanza. Gemma Galanza unable to get that one there. Santiago Manabat, not that time. Faith Nisperos. Well, as Dreamline goes 3 0, we turn over to Kyla Kinsu. Kyla. Pando, Neil, what a first set that was. Now, earlier you guys mentioned that Dreamline initially seemed rattled by that delay, but look, just like that, they managed to turn things around. And speaking of comebacks before this game, I was able to speak with Dreamline's tower, said Domingo about their previous match with PLDT. And when we talked about how they caught up in set number three with Todd Carlos's crucial service aces, she shared that they just needed that spark. But one of their takeaways is that they can't always depend on that. Moreover, said says that consistency will always be the key. She said, and I quote, we just have to focus on playing our game today, sticking to the system that has worked for Teamline over the years to finish this round strong. Now, let's go back to enjoying this matchup, which you can experience better on the Pilipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. Now, back to you, Paolo and Neil. Thank you very much. That was Kyla King Su. And as said mentioned, consistency is key. And Akari need to show more of this in the game as Faith Esperos gets a first point here for the Akari Chargers in set number two. Now on the service line again, known for her heavy serves. Talking about Faith Nesperos. And there you could have seen why as Gemma Galanza. Oh, what a stinging hit. Kept alive though. 
So it's Carlos. Not that time. Giacomanaba just looped that over. Not Panaga unable to get the point as they go back to Santiago Manaba. That's a better set for Dindin Santiago Manaba. A while ago, it was a bit far from the net. She was asking for a set na medyo dikit kay Papana so that she can hammer through the defense of cream line. Well, Akari needed this. A couple back-to-back -back points here for the Akari Chargers as Faith Nisperos would like to make a home on the service line. Gemma Galanza could not get it past the blockers as Trisha Genesis. Well, you could see how happy she is with that one. <laughs> Big block for Trisha Genesis, also a confidence booster from one Falcon to another. Let's take, let's take a look at the sheer joy. <laughs> Show like, like a match Genesis. point maybe for <laughs> Trisha Genesis. <laughs> I would love to understand why, why, why she felt so much joy with that particular point. A safe despair sets that to the net and giving a free point and the lead back to the Dreamline Goose Smashers. Gemma Galanza now on the service line here for a cream line trying to extend their lead. Okay, this time it was a slower start here for the Kyrie Chargers. There's a Genesis. And that time, it was Makaslam who was just right in front and maybe proved to be a bit of a deterrent there for the Creamland Pool Smashers. Because man was a backline player, so it's hard to go for a joust yeah. because that will be an illegal attack. Makaslam on the service line, tied up at four apiece. Akari cannot afford to let Creamline get away again. De Guzman setting up Eliza Valdez. Well, Eliza has been improving game after game. We'll be interested to see how much she finishes with here. She has been efficient, I would say, in terms of percentage of attacking. Five to four in favor of the Creamline Cool Smashers. From the back, Esperos. Oh, she enjoyed that one. There was such hang time here. We're at floor level, Neil. And just seeing her hang up in the air to hit that down was a treat. Right now, she just needs to rebuild that confidence because imagine she a while ago because of the misreceives. But now she's getting her attack points in. And in rotations, they're ni Din Din Santiago Mana. But you will notice that she is occupying that right pin. So hindi siya as pressured receive. And uh, her responsibility mainly is to attack. Well, Tots Carlos tried to hammer that off the blockers, and she does. Green line up by one here. Butcher and Vanessa opting to deploy. El de Jesus, the second libero also for the Cool Smashers. Carlos with the serve. Good reception there. And Madrigal with the point, and that is exactly how Akari want to play heavy serves like that. Yeah. Tied at six apiece, courtesy of this. The Hiroz will be a big factor if Akari wants to get this second set. Because a while ago, hindi na sinasabayan ng middle blockers ng cream line yung middles ng Akari. It's always the wings. And a great set then for Eliza Valdez. The blockers fool. And Eliza pounced. Now you can really say that Eliza Valdez is at 100%. Full recovery there, combination play. And it helps when you set up like that. Eliza Valdez. Nisperos. And Faith Nisperos. What a hit. Again, the confidence is starting to grow. You can see it with her swing and the way that she moves. Ezra Madrigal on the service line here for the carry chargers. 
and trying to go to the first technical timeout with the lead. De Guzman looking for Galanza. Genesis got a bit of help from the tape. Galanza. Madrigal looking for Nisperos. Experience a new way to feel the heart of volleyball. Watch every set, spike, dig, and block on any device, anytime, anywhere via Pilipinas Live. Download the app now and subscribe for only 99 pesos per a month. Well, we said this, this was our premier matchup here. Uh, Trish Genesis and Gemma Galanza, 23% attack efficiency for Trish Genesis and Galanza with 14%. You take a look at the numbers here, Neil, and these two have been performing, have been trying their best to push their side over. Not the best uh, when you look at the numbers yeah. in terms of efficiency, but they are contributing in other ways. So they do want to improve on that department. Again, this set in particular has been tightly contested as Faithness Peros with a heavy hand. And that's the second time, actually, that she looked for Eliza and hit one hard. Let's take Finally a look at that again. Settled in for Akari. Got her range in attacking. All tied up. Eight and eight, with number eight serving here for Akari. And Dreamline. They needed that one. It's been a bit nip and tuck here. Akari mistimed that block. And this time is right, as you can see there exactly. Just not, not just a tad bit late and able to take advantage. So the action starting to heat up here to fill Sports Arena. And can I just say, a credit to all the fans here at the venue. They're starting to fill up. As the tape was a big help there as the Yendler service is on by the Creamline Cool Smash here to go. Two points up. The venue is already starting to fill up here, Neil. The temperature is starting to heat up here. My partner is sweating because of the action here. In the Invitational Conference, Creamline hope that they start heating up as well. Santiago Manabat. A swing and the hit. And Eliza Valdez. Unable to save that one. Santiago Manabat against a single blocker there. Well, mga kapatid, the action's heating up. The fans are pouring into the building, and my partner has just been handed a fan <laughs> because of the heat here. Though still bearable, as Peyton Espera sends that straight to the net. And you know, we talk about the heat because it has been a factor in some of the games that yeah. have been played here at the venue. You know, we're still, some of the players have still adapted, but then, you know, by some accounts, the temperature has gotten better compared to the last few game days. And uh, we're still waiting for the Petrogas fans and the Choco Mucho fans to occupy the remaining seats here in the Phil Sports Arena. That's going to be a big game, a crucial game for both teams. Might just decide who can the semifinals. Absolutely right. If you take a look at this miscue here coming from Akari, 
just a soft touch there by Santiago Manaba, then she immediately apologized. So, quick timeout here on the floor. Let's listen in. Okay. Okay. Look, they cannot go there every time and serve two or three. Two or three. One only. Huh? One only two. You do the play. Uh, what coach had said? When they got A? Okay. So it's done. Just push long. Push long. The ball come to you. Come back to you, okay? Coach Jorge giving instructions to Dindin Santiago Mana, but if you're going for a drop ball, you target the corner pockets because when you challenge the blockers with that push, it can come back to our court. And dun nagkakaroon ng mga miscues in the coverage. And uh, just like that, Kriebline is starting to pull away here. Very similar to the first set natin. Akari was keeping it close up to the first technical timeout. Then suddenly, Kriebline made their move and established a very big lead. And Santiago Manabat making good with that opportunity. We mentioned a while ago, you mentioned a while ago, that this green line team, once they find a bit of steam, once they create a bit of distance, it just makes it so much more difficult here for Akari as we take a look at that hit from Santiago Manabat. And Akari have to keep this close. That will be their best chance to steal a set. Liza Valdez, the blocking displayed. She'll go again. Block her once, maybe. Block her twice, can't do it. Maybe one of the things that she learned from the BNL is that trick. Soft hit first, para makuha ng magandang rebound for you to reset your attack formation. And then on the second try, she hit it with more power. Well, we all know that she did watch all VNL games. I'm not surprised that she got a bit, if she ever got a bit of inspiration from what she saw. Good blocking displayed. And there was a horn. Because there is a net touch challenge from the Akari Chargers. So, let's see whether or not they will take this point away. Again, challenges have been crucial in the last few game days in the PPL. Most notably, in the most recent F2 victory, a couple of late challenges by coach Regine Diego practically won them a game. And you take a look at the challenges being made early on in the set. It could stop momentum, it could change the direction of the play. And Akari is hoping that they can do that here. But Neil, just how much more important is it right now for the coaching staff to be on point yeah. with regards to their eagle eyes in making sure that they spot every violation missed by the officials? That's also one of the responsibilities of the coaching staff on the bench to really look out for these violations. <laughs> and looks like that's a good call. The thigh of the middle blocker, said Domingo, raised the net and that will be a point for Akari. Great challenge there from Coach Ravi Masuela. And Coach Ravi there was actually, says, yeah, that was me. Raised his hand a while ago. <laughs> and uh, Kyrie Chargers, uh, their entire bench actually cheered on the coach. So then they can now win points for the team. De Guzman. Oh, what a setup. And Domingo with the finish. Kari has to remember that Gia De Guzman loves going to zero tempo quick attacks. A quick manyan or B quick man. So you really need to get that timing on point. Tots Carlos on the service line. Three point lead here for Cream Line. Again, just too much mustard on that one. Two-point lead for the Creamline Cool Smashers. As Coach Jorge and the rest of the coaching staff, you know, just celebrated a point that they won a while ago, are hoping for a bit of momentum coming their way as Trisha Genesis sets the serve. She goes back to her regular jump serve. A while ago, she was uh, serving uh, floaters. Marigenot able to get the point to pull within one. Great eye there. 
learn from her ate and uh, veteran Gia de Guzman uh, one two dump play working for Akari you can see some of the influences for sure as you take a look at that again Genesis on the service line once more you mentioned that she switched up her serving style then is now back to what she was de Guzman with the setup again Valdez The longest injury layoff she's ever had in her life is starting to find her legs once more. Eliza Valdez with the serve. Faith Nisperos with the answer. Nisperos challenging at the double block of the Guzman and uh, Seth Domingo. That's the least of her concerns, yung attacking, uh, when we talk about Faith Nisperos because uh, we know that that's one of the reasons why she got recruited by Akari. I mean, not just Akari, I, I heard na lima yung club teams na kumukuha sa kanya for the PVL. Practically the entire league was after her signature. And Akari have a great one in faith. Genesis. That time was Galanza. And kept alive here, barely. Can they save this? Yes, they can. Or not. <laughs> saying that it was already beyond the antenna. And a few concern, a few questionable looks there as we go to a technical timeout. 16 to 14 favor, green line. We'll be right back. Come and watch the best basketball players in the globe and cheer them on live inside the venue. The FIBA Basketball World Cup 2023 single game pass is now available for as low as 499 pesos. Get your tickets at smticketsticknet or philippines-ticketing.worldcup.basketball. And uh, as per special request, Neil Flores will not answer any basketball-related <laughs> questions. <laughs> Two-point lead for the Green Line Cool Smashers as Seth Domingo tries to get them going here again. Faith Nisperos with a hammer of a shot. Saw the intention there. Saw her advantage as well. Now Akari is just one point behind the Cool Smashers within striking distance. And at this point, I'm sure the setters of Akari are saying, hindi na natin kailangan na perfect receive. As long as may taas natin, kahit pa paano maiba to sa open spiker natin, we can actually score a point. Kept alive here. Dindon Santiago Manabat. Nothing there. Who did he go to? Back to Santiago Manabat. Eliza could not keep that in. So Akari tying it up here. This is exactly what we said Akari needed to do. They need to keep the game close here to worry the Creamline Cool Smashers, who just a while ago in the first frame, I believe it was a 7-0 run that saw them really create separation, and they lost the frame right there and then. This time, much closer, and Akari with a shot. This is the rotation. Na kailangan tumagal yung Akari. They have three attackers on the floor. They have tall blockers as well. So they need to string up consecutive points, and they do as they take over the lead. And Faith Nisperos able to get that point. You know, you talk about the
the height of the Sakari team. You know, Faith, when standing right beside Hinnis and Jago Manabat, it feels like they're almost the same height as isn't it? Kung not over or outside, okay lang. Kasi pag ginanan mo lang talaga, eh, pag check yun, madali ng depensahan. Attacking. Okay? Eh, pagka nasa kabila yung bola, nakatayo tayo na nakatayo eh. Sorry, coach. Ready, 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 ready. Aggressive, aggressive. Okay, so let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Talking, wala magantay. All in, dream line. Coach Irwin asking for more commitment on the attacks this time. Tots Carlos, only with seven points. Again, she's averaging 20 points per game. So, a couple changes here again for the cream line cool smashers as Risa Sato comes in. Much of the delight of the crowd. You also can tell one of the fan favorites. Yeah, absolutely. You actually can tell every time Green Line make a sub because it's too big in volume. <laughs> Bonanza. I'm not quite sure if that even crossed the tape there. As Akari now lead by two. Biggest lead uh, so far for the Akari Chargers. For Creamline, they have uh, to rotate so that they can get Tots Carlos so well, front line. Remember, Akari are playing for their playoff lives here against the undefeated Creamline Curse uh, Cool Smashers. Galanza, soft touch there. Coverage was there. They go back to Gemma. And that time, getting that off the blockers right off the head of Dijin Sanjago Manaba. We were talking about uh, off the head of Dinsan Jaco Manaba, and we saw all of the giant heads from the fans of the Creamline Cool Smashers enjoying that point. Din Din will try to get one back. Not that time. Coverage was ever present. Not that time, though. From uh, the down the line, hit to the cross court. Creamline was on over. Another look at this again, Risa Sato with the point, her first I believe, and you take a look at her infectious smile, it got the entire field sports arena up. Substitution for coach Jorge here, Permentilia will replace this Perez again, this is a defensive substitution because coach Jorge wants to get a stable service reception pattern from uh, his players. Of course, it's with Gia there on the service line. And uh, just a missed opportunity there for Akari. So again, Gia was number two in terms of ser service the service points. So quick timeout, let's listen in. This is a perfect situation. You be a pass. You're going to receive because there's two guys for you, the guys there. If it's OK, spike. If not, drop there. Maybe she will give to you again, okay? The Creamline Cool Smashers now have a one-point lead, and Akari need a little boost here. They got a boost here from Dinan Santiago Manaba, six attack points already in this one. And she didn't start the game, mind you. So let's see whether or not she can continue to make a difference here. Neil, you, we listened to that, uh, that timeout a while ago. Still trying to make sure their passing works out. It was a gamble from uh, Jaja Mariginot to set up a quick attack at this point because Again, uh, most of the time, uh, pumupunta talaga siya kay Dindin Santiago Manabat in Faith Nesperos. And uh, maybe the execution was uh, just not perfect, pero the intention nga was there to engage the middles para kahit pa paano, they become a threat dun sa blockers mm -hmm. ng uh, cream line. There from Antilia on the service line. Tied up at 19 all. Who will be the difference? That time, it was the Akari blockers. 
Makaslang with uh, a huge block against Gemma Galanza. Perfectly timed. Makaslang able to see that through. Akari now with the lead. Can they hold on though? Vermentilia with the serve. And tied it all up, and a bit of frustration here for the Gary Chargers. That error will lead us to another deadlock at 20. There are still three attackers, though, on the, the front line of Akari. They need to convert this first attack. That will be an out-of-system play. This man with the setup looking for Eliza Valdez. Soft speed that time. Who do they look for here? Santiago Manaba. Dia looking for talks. Off the blockers and Greenlock get the lead back. It's full time for Tots Marinov in the end game. We know that Gia de Guzman will always go to their best scorer. Yes. As for the blockers of Akari, they can actually force Tots Carlos to hit that cross court. Isarado na down the line. Santiago Manaba able to strike back. We're going back and forth here. This Crucial. is a winnable set for the Akari Chargers. As long as they don't commit more unforced errors. This is a crucial frame for the Akari Chargers and they're playing like it. Now, can they get the lead back from Creamline? And they give it back instead. We're just talking about limiting the errors in the end of every set. Especially pagpatak ng 20 points. Quite a few service errors already here for the Kyrie Chargers. As Madrigal says, let us even things up again. This time, Gambo paid off for Jaja Mariginot. Double sub coming in for the Chargers. Michelle Cobb to replace Dindin Santiago Manabat and Eli Soyo to replace Jaja Mariginot. Can they get the next three points here for the carry Chargers? Much needed points with potentially their playoff lives on the line because if Creamline go two sets up, it just makes it almost a, really a near impossible task. Guzman with a setup to Tots Carlos. That is food for thought. He knew that was coming. Gia Guzman all the way in the left pin. A perfect reverse set. Papunta kay Tots Carlos. Huge. Gap in between the blockers of the Chargers. Now Kyle Negrito will serve both coaches with the same double substitutions, both wanting uh, three attackers in the front line towards the end of this set. They go to Soyud. Soyud off the arm of Negrito. 23 all. Who can be the difference as we take a look at Soyud between the hands of Gumabao and off the arm of Negrito? Now it's Eliza Valdez against Faith Desperos in the front line. To Genesis with a heavy serve, Negrito setting up Gumabao. What a block coming from Akari. An important point could be one of the biggest they have here. That might be the set winning block for Akari, but now Gia de Guzman is back with Tots Carlos. Quick timeout and a lot to discuss here. Ah, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Hey, 
Well, the Cool Smashers under pressure, and their fans have come out in full voice as the Akari Chargers are looking to steal the frame. Like uh, Ebon, uh, not in the lineup for today's game. Trisha Genesis needs to serve heavily <laughs> to at least challenge young defenders ng cream line and uh, pwede sila sumaga, sumugal. They can double up on Pots Carlos already and leave a single blocker with Eliza Valdez. But we never know what Gia is gonna set up. Still alive here. Fate this Hit that below. Chargers. Noise level to the max. Eliza Valdez. Now it's Faith's turn again. Faith Nisperos putting a hush to the crowd. Battle tested through the years in college. Now she is showing us nerves of steel. Let's see if she can uh, get that final blow for the set win of Akari. Madrigal on the service line. Service errors have been a problem here for the Akari Chargers. They need to serve clean. Was safe there. And Akari put up the wall up front and steal the set. From the Green Line Cool Smashers, 26 to 24, but there will be a review here. <laughs> a net touch being challenged by Green Line. We said how important challenges are in this conference. Coaches can win points, coaches can save games. Can Green Line save a set here? We already saw the scenario in the F2 Petrogas game, the F2 Chocomucho game. Net fault challenge. Coach Jorge is also curious. He tries to take a look at the replay monitor that we have, but we do not have access to the machine. <laughs> so right now, Neil, this is crucial because there is so much momentum that Akari built from here. Right now, the Akari Chargers are confident that they didn't touch the net, but Let's wait for the replay. <laughs> You're never too sure. Even the slightest of touches, Dunsanet, will be a violation. But yeah, that is a clean block from Akari. Well, the venue also sees what we're seeing here. And the crowd, a mixture of elation. And a bit of sadness for the Green Line Cool Smashers as Akari steal the frame 26 to 24. What a ball game we have.
Well, check out the new streaming experiences. Also, oh wait, via the Filipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. And what a set number two. The real deal, Neil Flores joins me. I'm Paolo Del Rosario. Kyla King Su is our courtside reporter here today. A 26 to 24 win for the Kyrie Chargers. And it was exactly what we predicted that they needed. They need to keep it close all the way towards the end. Talk about Akari for a chance to win this one against the Cream Line Cool Smashers. And we got exactly that. But Neil, what was the biggest difference towards the end of that frame? Well, the biggest difference in uh, the last part of the frame was the blocking of Akari. I was saying that they could and uh, just guard Todd Carlos. But Gianni Guzman decided to go for that quick attack with Seth Domingo. And it's a good thing for Makaslap to actually guard the middle blocker of Creamline. 18 attack points for the Akari Chargers despite the inconsistent passing pa rin ng second set. Five blocks compared to the two of Creamline. So these were the two factors that uh, were able to negate the unforced errors that they dished out in set number two. And that is something you don't see often. The 10 attack points of the Creamline Cool Smashers. Just what did the Akari Chargers do to limit this green line team, at least in this frame. It was uh, really their defense, frustrating the green line blocker. In set number one, ang ganda ng coverage na pinapakita ng defenders ng Cool Smashers, pero nawala yon ng uh, set number two. And uh, there was a dip in the efficiency of the attackers of Cream Line as well. So let's see whether or not they can address those issues. And if you're Akari, you want to be able to test this Cream Line team even further. Creamline already through to the semifinals, while the Akari Chargers looking to survive here in the pool phase. They still have hope, but only if they take down the perfect, the immaculate Creamline Cool Smashers here in this conference. A tough ask, but the reward is survival. Akari to serve first here in set number three. Thank you for joining us here. Broadcasting from the Phil Sports Arena. Tots Carlos can't get the first point. That's Makaslan and Dindin Santiago Manabat combined for the block. They had that edge in the blocking department, set number two. And they're continuing to maximize that department with their first kill block of set number three. Arginot on the service line here for the Akari Chargers. Greenline started out slow in set number one, but still finished that comfortably. Dots Carlos again. Almost the same approach as a while ago. Santiago Manaban able to get that in as Kyla King Su joins us on the sideline. Kyla, what do you have? Paolo and Neil, Akari definitely challenged our defending champions in that second set. But there's no denying the huge comeback and the huge impact that the phenom Eliza Valdez is making. When I asked her about her outlook for the semis next week, she said, and I quote, Before even thinking about the Pool B teams we'll be meeting, my team's primary focus is winning today to enter the next round on a high note. And with Akari stealing their momentum, we're reminded that anything is possible here in the PVL. As Michelle Cobb told me and their dugout earlier. Labanan to ng composure and solidity. So let's see how these two teams utilize that to battle aloud and snatch this third set away. Now let's go back to enjoying this game which you can experience better on the Pilipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. Now back to you, Paolo and Neil. Thank you very much. That was Kyla King Su with that report. Eliza Valdez unable to get that across as Panaga does. Santiago Manabat block there. Kaslang looking for Din Din again. And if Tots Carlos had the height of a Dindin Santiago Manabat, maybe she could have saved that, but not that time around. Kyla Tenza tried to control that powerful attack from Dindin Santiago Manabat, but that ball was already too close to the antenna. Take a look at that here, and... Well, just a bit more vert is needed there for Tots Carlos. Faith Nisperos, who has been heavy with her hand on the serve, of course, one of the top pointers here for the Akari Chargers with nine. Tied up with Santiago Manabat. Speaking of, Dindin. First double-digit score here for the Akari Chargers. Great start here for Akari. Four to one. As a certain Bernadette Pons checks in. We've seen her exploits on the sand. 
and continuing to make a home indoors. Bernadette Pons, definitely an all-around player from her college days to the pros. And we also know that she can score in bunches. As Faith Nisperos will try to continue this good run for Akari. And that is a service ace there for Faith. And she also scores in double digits now for Akari. You can uh, feel the confidence of Akari right now, owning a four-point lead against the undefeated Dreamliner, the first team to deal Dreamliner their first set loss. And they want more. Let's listen in. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Neil, but the key message here, help each other yeah. out. Especially if you see that the teammates are one of the teammates, you have to better the ball, as they say. Well, let's see if they can do that because they need all the help that they can get here to start out set number three. Akari up five to one. We all know that Creamline can score quickly and unanswered. But at the moment, Akari, courtesy of the heavy serving here from Faith Nesperos, really has been getting it done here in set number three. Good serve once again, and that time, Panaga. Courtesy of the wonderful setup by Gia, able to end the drought. Like finally putting a stop to the heavy serving of Fitness Pero. It was still a tight pass, but with the talent of Gia Morado de Guzman, we know that she can easily put that ball up to her middle blockers. Well, that was a much needed timeout, much needed point here for the Creamline Cool Smashers. And Trisha Genesis, Genesis that time off the block. You know, we talked about how Faith was building her confidence in set number two. Trisha Genesis also building her confidence here in this game. Targeting uh, the right hand of Todd Scarlett to get it off the hands. Makasilang on the service line here for Akari. Six serving two. Creamline have yet to really get going. Who do they turn to? Todd Scarlett, not that time. And a net touch there for Makari, and Creamline will gladly take that point. Madrigal was too eager to go for that defensive block. Well, if you're a Creamline, you're going to have to hope that they can start building their momentum courtesy of the stinging serves of Atos Carlos. And unable to save that, Santiago Manabat. Her and the rest of the Agari Chargers have looked so confident in this frame. It feels like they could do barely anything wrong. In terms of playing time, she may be counting playing time right now on the floor. She only entered the starting unit in that second set. But she is currently the top scorer of Akari with 11 points. And it was a meeting at the net for both these teams as Galanza sends it free. And again, not finding that hole in the middle and upping the lead. Eight to three, Akari are off running here in set number three. Don't go away, we'll be right back.
Welcome back to the PBL. Here we have a video and we get to catch a glimpse of Akari's veteran, Bang Pineda, leading one of their practices. So as we know, she has always been a respected veteran in the team. And here she is actually talking about their adjustments in terms of their defense patterns for this matchup. And in case you didn't already know, Bang was also recently announced as part of the coaching staff for the UAAP Season 86 Adamson Lady Falcons. Good. Well, of course, I was kind of looking to with that report. Now, Bang Pineda has mentioned uh, practically being a playing coach here. As we go, uh, go back to the action, and still Akari, who are able to really seize the moment here in set number three. Let's take a look at that again. Official Genesis, all power there, getting past the defense of Ella de Jesus. Now we feel the flow, the proper flow on the movements of the Akari Chargers compared to that opening set. And this is exactly what they wanted. Nine serving three. It's been all Akari here in set number three at Chembre. As, uh, as customary when you're a commentator and you talk about how well someone is playing, the Kaka service error. <laughs> I think that's your curse, Pao. <laughs> well, potentially. I'm, I'm going to blame Kyla. Bago lang siya. Burn the bonds on the service line here. Trying to get Dreamline going once more, and Atienza could not reach it. Visha Genesis just continuing to target these corner pockets for Dreamline. You know, this is how dangerous this conference is because it's such a short, short, uh, short conference. You play only a few teams once. This Akari team does not look like they are a winless team yeah. at all. Dots Carlos just a bit too low and nothing going right here for Creamline. She has been on and off for today's game. Now they're down by seven points. Somebody has to take up uh, that leadership role right now and uh, ask for the set from Gia de Guzman. It can be Gemma Galanza or it can be said Domingo. Well, you're talking about Tots Carlos, so only nine points here so far. By her very high standards, uh, that does not quite cut it. As Galanza, the blocking slow that down, Maraganot. Who did he go for here? Dindin. Tots Carlos with the reception. Tots again. And the Green Line Cool Smashers fans find their voice as Tots Carlos with a much needed point to push up her tally to 10. Yeah, finally getting to the double digits column. And that's also a question that needs to be addressed for Dreamline. But Merong off Daisy Tons Carlos, who will be the one to take up that top scorer position? Domingo with the serve. They go back to Santiago Manaba. Gia looking for Gemma Galanza. Maraginot. Santiago Manabat again. Good reception from Pons. As Panaga scores. Excellent. Back back. Big game shown to us by Bernadette Pons. So much control in that ball. Gia de Guzman engaging Pons Panaga last second to get that point for team line. Time out on the floor. Again, let's listen in. Request. You use the quick, you use the back row, and she was alone because the guys have the money for, to block here. Okay? So help her. Let's help. Well, we got a great game coming up as well. How crucial is this next one, Neil? Because <laughs> I, I have very few words to describe the matchup of Tom and Green, Petrogas Angels, and the Chocomucho Flying Titans. There are four teams in the running towards that semifinals. And uh, one loss can dictate your fate. So for Petrogas and Chocomucho, Whoever loses that match can be out of contention, so it's a must win for both teams. Well, the focus is back here, and the team that must win is Akari. Galanza 
off the blockers. Vinden could not reach it, and Greenline has found life here in set number three. Three straight points for the Cool Smashers. Slowly but surely, the small contributions from each of the players really helping the cause of the Cool Smashers. You saw a point from Pank Panaga. This time, you saw a point from Gemma Galanza. And, uh... Bernadette Pons is taking care of that back court. Para sa mga ako bahala dito po malulang kayo de depensa ako. Unable to reach that, and the Green Line fans here at the venue have gone wild. Now Saint Domingo is doing damage from uh, the service line. They're well, just down by three points. That's exactly what you needed. I said Domingo already with uh, four points in this game. We got five. Two aces. Couldn't get her third there as Faith Nisperos ends the round. Twelve to eight. And Akari will be glad that they finally ended that mini rally of the Cream Line Cool Smashers, Faith Nisperos with the point. Kari needs to sprint. They need 11, I mean, uh, 13 points, but when you have Cream Line scoring three points consecutively, kailangan ingat-ingatan mo din yung uh, lamang mo. Tots Carlos meeting at the net, and a chance here for De Jesus to set up Galanza. Dindin could not reach that in time. And let's be let's be fair to Dindin. She has a long way down. <laughs> she is very tall, and that is a long way down for Dindin. It was a high ball. Nakita mo yung ni It was a high drop ball from Gemma Galanza. It was playable for Akari. <laughs> Pero nagkulang na oh. steps eh. Gio with the serve. Three-point lead for Akari. Make that four. Again, Faith Nispero, so there was a time, I believe it was in that first frame, wherein she looked a bit shaken yeah. after being targeted over and over again, and her reception game was off. And her offense followed that, and finally she's found a bit of her groove. Well, Carlos. There was a single blocker, but the angle was completely wrong. That was a super fast shoot set, I think. Hindi inexpect ni Tots Carlos na ganun kabilis yon, but it was a good set. Yeah. I, I'm also hearing the coaching staff of Greenline saying that it was the perfect set. 14 to 9. And it is Akari. Trying their best to keep the distance big. Well, it's Carlos that time off the blockers. That's more like it. That's the instant adjustment of Jesse Guzman. Nakita niya that Tots Carlos wasn't able to work well with that super fast shoot set. And Asya ng Ponte to give allowance for Tots Carlos to get her proper approach. Gemma Galanza on the service line. And that was an ace there, much needed. Gemma is the deadliest server in the game. Contributing to areas where she can. Still a three-point lead for Akari. Alanza again. Esperos. And what an answer. Faith Esperos, very comfortable in that right side there were a lot of adjustments actually dito sa side ng akari pinasok nila si dindin nilagay nila sa opposite si faith so there are just some rotations na kailangan niya room receive but pag nag-abot na sila ni dindin santiago manabat her focus is mainly to attack faith nisperos that's carlos off the block and hitting the head of oh, Dindin Santiago Manaba. She apologizes for that. It wasn't intentional. And it's all part of the game now. There will be a substitution for Dreamline. Uh, Phil Kainglet Cayetano will replace Banks Panaga. 
it's great to see. I personally have a soft spot seeing Kainglet Kaitan because we're going to be a bad guy. So, and as well as Michelle Gumabao, the two of them. Kainglet Kaitan had a good cameo to start out the game in the oh. first frame, and oh, that was a stinging finish here for the carry charges that will send us to our second technical timeout. They're up by four. Don't go away. Jaja Marginot has been doing her part here for the Gary Chargers as they lead by four against Dreamline Two Smashers. They took an extended set number two. Let's take a look at the center matchup here. Yeah, the Guzman, obviously with good numbers already, as expected here. New. Given <laughs> yeah. that they will be getting their fair share of excellent sets. But you also have to commend Jaja Marginot. Yes. She's pulling the strings of the attacking of Akari well. Domingo barely got contact, but got that across. Esperos tried to make something out of nothing, but too much mustard on that one. No risk action. He was out of position as well. I think she wasn't expecting that set from yeah. Aslam. Just a three-point lead here for Akari. And just a while ago, we saw Creamline go in a 3-0 run in uh, the early parts of this frame. Again, not. Looking for Genesis. And they got the touch. Genesis gets a ball touch. Four-point lead here for Akari. Dulu dulu talaga yung target ni Trisha Genesis. Very effective in that position. Another double stop for Coach Jorge. Seventeen thirteen in favor of Akari. As Michelle Cobb goes to the service line for the Chargers. Again, missed the last game due to a non-COVID illness, and sorely missed by this Akari team. On to the reception, Carlos with the finish. Plus Carlos saying, it's not how you start, but it's how you end your performance. Now he is heating up here in the third frame. Bernard Bonds on the service line here for the Creamline Cool Smashers who need to build a bit of momentum. They've been trading points. And as I say that, it goes long, so Akari will increase their lead once more to four. Eliza Valdez still on the bench for Creamline. As we see Eliza, you know that she wants to be on the floor right now. But at the, me at the moment, it was Gia who found a way to get the point across. Take a look at that again. Creamline can't seem to get over this three-point hump. They've been scoring uh, points, pero lagi sa three points na titigil eh. Said Domingo on the service line here for Creamline. Line. 
They go to Fake Nisperos. Great defense shown by Seth Domingo and even better offense shown by Coach Carlos. And just two points away, Neil, from tying this one up. You feel that Dreamline are starting to find their way. Let's take a look at that defensive effort once more. A bit of the tape, a bit of the arm of Nisperos. Domingo. Barely kept alive, but they'll take it. Talking about Akari. Galanza. Left touch called by the second referee. Akari will surely challenge uh, that call. So let's see whether or not they are as innocent as they proclaim. And that's the behind the moment deal. So Green Line starting to find a bit of rhythm. Akari got off to a red hot start. Sustaining that is the biggest challenge that they have here. And this is going to be a crucial challenge on the side of Akari. If they get this right, talking about Green Line, they pull just one more step closer. Akari have done such a good job earlier in this frame to have all the rhythm, all the momentum, killing everything that Dreamline threw at them. But now Dreamline, with signs of life, is starting to show a bit more desire here towards the latter end of frame number three. It's a one set apiece here. Let's take a look. There is a net touch and a uh -oh. pinky. That pink, that left pinky of Eli Soyud. Touching the tape of the net. Di mo nyan mapapansin eh, yung ganyan ka slight na net touch. So the pinky was the culprit. Those are the margins, Neil. A pinky away from a point. Now, Creamline is just down by a single point. Akari will lose one of their challenge opportunities. Over Galanza ties it up. Mantilla will replace Trisha Genesis. That has been uh, the substitution for Coach Jorge pag kailangan nila ng matibay na reception. Domingo has been on the service line for quite a while here for Cream Line. They are enjoying her being there. Soyud gives the lead back to Akari and just when Cream Line were so close to getting it again. You can see Fifi Sharma on the sidelines. Parang gustong gusto niya na pumasok kaya Akari in this set. I can tell you right now, the Akari fans also want her in. But the Chargers trying to nurse this lead into something bigger. Galanza. Galanza. It's crunch time for both of these teams. Ganit pa rin yung nangyari ng set number two. It was very tight come the 20-point mark. Execution will now be a big factor for these teams. Choosing the right attackers for the setters. Being in the proper position for the defenders. Gia Morada de Guzman on the service line. Targeting Fitness Peros once more. Cobb with a setup. Soyud. Atienza. Ngeke Galanza. Cobb to Soyud. Galanza again. The net defense of Akari has come to play. They were spectacular yeah. in set number two and showing signs of that here in set number three. Akari just not giving up in transition. Very focused on deflecting the attackers of Cream Line. Now the question is, can they create any more separation? Cream Line have been hounding the Akari Chargers. Marginot. Gia looking for Galanza. 
With a spin, the Gemma Galanza show here towards the end of the third. You can see her game pace now. Can you hold that? The Gemma Galanza, she drills that. Speaking of Gemma Galanza, the deadliest server in the game in this conference. Santiago Manabat ends the drought and silences the Green Line fans. Santiago Manabat keeping it simple. And scoring uh, the 21st point off of the Chargers. It feels almost like deja vu compared to the last frame, Neil. Faith Nesperos on the service line. A heavy and powerful server. We go to Tots Carlos. Oh. She was underneath that ball, tried to hit it with power. A lot of backspin in that hit. 22 to 20 in favor of the Dakari Chargers who are looking to overturn what was a one to none set advantage for the Creamline Cool Smashers. Peyton Esperos. 13 points already for Faith. Gives one back to Creamline. already for Faith Nespenos. It's that type of risk that you have with such a heavy server. Angus Panaga, you're on the service line. Maraginot looking for Dindin Santiago Manabat. And they will challenge this on the Atari Chargers. From our point of view, Neil, on the floor, it looked a bit close. Let's see whether or not they have a point. It was uh, really close. Not a lot of spin in that hit. Major flat ball, yon, but they still have one challenge opportunity. They will be using that as they hope to get this break. Well, you mentioned a while ago that challenges have become a more crucial part of this game. So. And that is a great call from the Akari Chargers. Sharp eyes. It was the players who actually yeah. felt that they... It's the players who they actually got the point and they implored their coaching yeah. staff to make the challenge. We only have that window of opportunity to pull up that challenge card. So the players were already shouting at the coaching staff that we have the challenge because we're sure that that was inside. And that is crucial because they're only two away now from claiming set number three. Cream line. Can they reply? And making something out of nothing. As that looked like an opportunity for a carry. But then Zed Domingo able to push that across really quickly. It felt like it floated for an eternity. Again, that was another high ball coming from green line. One point lead. Dots Carlos on the service line with green line trailing. 22 serving 23. Fourteen points through fourteen attacks. Maraginot. Santiago Manabat puts Akari within set point. The setup and the hit right in front of Dots Carlos. And timeout called on the floor as Creamline will try to extend this one. You receive pa tayo. Mati set pa, papalo pa, para maka one point. Walang score, one point, get one point lang, yun lang. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, let's go, go. Let's go, let's go! Oh, all in, Creamline! Creamline 
being tested down by two against the Akari Chargers who are on the cusp of taking a two to one set lead here against the defending champions. Of course, waiting in the wings, the Chocomucho Flying Titans looking for their own crucial victory against the Petrogas Angels coming up right after this. So much great volleyball for you this evening, this afternoon. Thank you very much for joining us here. Wherever you're watching on One Sports, One Sports Plus, the Signal Play app, and the Filipinas Live app. If you're joining our friends on the fan stream, I hope they're talking well about us, Neil. I said Domingo! Green line within one. And he has a one chance to close this out. You have Fermin Pilia on the front line. You also have Madrigal there. But I'm expecting a back row attack. Looking for a touch. They won't get it. Madrigal asks for it. Challenge it. I believe they're having discussion here. They're looking for a block touch. If they get this right, Neil. I don't think there was a block touch. There was no spin on uh, that ball as it sailed outside. Well, we saw a while ago that there was a pinky on the net after a challenge. Was there something similar? We're going to find out. So, this is a crucial challenge here for the Gary Chargers. How close was it? We'll find out. But from our point of view, Neil, again, we're at floor level. Not quite sure we either of us saw anything. A 24 to 23 is the count. And Akari looking to end the frame already. And ooh. No touch there, just high. And you can hear what the partisan crowd the Cream Line Cool Smashers think about that. No more challenge opportunities for Akari. We were anticipating a set for Faith Nisperos or Dinit Santiago Manabat, but Jaja Marginot opted to go for that slide attack. She has another option in Chiara Permentilia on the left pin. And Cream Line are now on the cross. Of taking this set away. Akari were on the door and knocking, but found it locked as Greenline are now barging through. Timeout on the floor. Same. Same play, same decision between those two guys. Okay? Between those two guys. Single block, perfect fight. Okay? The Akari Chargers were so close to getting the set for themselves, but Creamline, almost as expected by many of their fans, have found a way to steal set point themselves. That's back-to-back -back errors for the Akari Chargers. And they just gave uh, three points for the side and Creamline. Bombs. Baragano looking for Dillian Santiago Manaba. Galanza! Listen to the crowd as the Green Line Bull Smashers take set number three right under the noses of the Akari Chargers, who are at set point not once but twice. And Galanza. the frame gets the final point and gives the lead to the green line cool smackers what a frame what a comeback how will akari respond we'll be right back
New streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. Of course, you can catch the fam stream there, which is now online or on air with our friends uh, Mela Tunay. And if I'm not mistaken, it's Ayel Estranero there joining as well. Take a look at the highlights here of set number three as the Dreamline Cool Smashers steal this run from the Kairi Chargers. A Kairi leg by as much as seven points here. 11 to four in particular. That's how well they were playing in this set. But then Dreamline just found different ways to just plug away. Neil, what was the biggest factor in that comeback here for the Dreamline Cool Smashers? It was very simple. Ahari just needed uh, one more point to close it out, but the errors at that time uh, didn't help their cause. And for Dreamline, they were just waiting for that chance to get the upper hand in attacking. Dumikit na ngayon yung Dreamline. Ahari still had uh, more attacks more blocks but they also committed uh, more errors especially in the tail end of set number two that was painful for akari i mean uh, they almost had it they were in control for 90 percent of the time in uh, set number three but again decision making in the end uh, i would say you really have to go to your percentage players it was a gamble for jaja maraginot to go to ezra madrigal she had uh, Dindin Satyago Manabat and Pete Desperos in the back row. But in situations like these, you really have to go to your top scorers. And I feel like it was a late substitution for Trisha Genesis. I know that Fermentilia can attack, but her main responsibility in set number three was to receive. So I was waiting for Trisha Genesis to go back pag ikot ni Fermentilia sa harapan. Now, Cream Lines just one set away from uh, maintaining their perfect record here in the full, full phase. It is a packed house at the Phil Sports Arena as we take a look at the crowd gathered, not just for this game, for, but what, for what is to come as well. The Petrogas Angels against the Chocomucha Flying Titans follow this crunch matchup between the Kari Chargers and Dreamline Cool Smashers. And Neil, you were mentioning a while ago now, major my init details uh Phil Sports Arena, and that's because the crowd has been pouring in and no one minds because they prefer the even hotter contests on the floor here at the Phil Sports Arena. Set number four to start out with the Creamline Cool Smashers with the serve. So the Akari Chargers, we will talk about it off the air. They need to show mental resilience after what was what they experienced in set number three. Now, Streamline get the first points on the board. We know that the momentum is now on the side of Streamline. And let's see if Akari can keep in step. Because again, uh, they have been consistent in the attacking and the blocking department from the start of this game. But they can't seem to find that finishing kick for crucial moments. You know, Gemma Galanza. Six points in the last frame. Scored exactly when she needed to. And we have more stories here, courtesy for Kyla King Su. Kyla, what do you have? Paolo and Neil losing that second set indeed served as an effective wake up call for the Creamline Cool Smashers. But as we all know, the Akari Chargers will be doing everything in their power to try and extend this matchup to a five setter. You know, you spoke about Fate Ness Paris really finding her groove in this new team. But another Charger who has been stepping up big time is Trisha Genesis, who actually admitted to me earlier in that na amaze at Star Stop Friend Dao Sha Samao Idols Nia sa Creamline. But when it's game time, it is game time. There's no time to be distracted and her focus on Akari's goal to hand Dreamline its first loss is indeed evident. Can they do just that? We'll have to see. Now let's head back to enjoying this thrilling matchup which is even more exciting on the Pilipinas Live app. Download and subscribe now for just 99 pesos per month. Now back to you Paolo. Thank you very much. That was Kyla King Su. And of course the Dreamline Goose Master is getting off a hot start here. 3 to 1 in favor of the Cool Smashers. Bang Spanal getting that point. You know, we mentioned a while ago na Bawal na starstruck. Or na mention ni Kaila sa report na Bawal na starstruck. And, uh, you know, it's easy to get starstruck when you take a look at the star names here on the floor. But Trisha Genesis doing a good job in making sure everyone knows that she belongs. As uh, Din Santiago Manabat answers back. So Din Din has been one of the crucial weapons here for the Akari Chargers already with 16 points in this game. Great number there for Din Din Santiago Manabat. And remember, she came in as a sub. And uh, so we're only seeing her 
affecting just a part of the ball game and not the entire thing. De Guzman looking for Eliza Valdez that time. Could not get it past the tape in the first place. But there was a check ball on one of the blockers. They can uh, challenge, they will challenge that block. Lock touch challenge coming from the side of Akari. They are claiming that that ball didn't go over. So let's see. Actually, I did. I actually thought that that was the case, but the camera knows better, Neil. Yeah. So let's let the camera show us that instead. So the block touch challenge here from the Akari Chargers. Crucial even as early as now. Uh, Akari know that even if there is a big lead against Green like Cool Smashers, they cannot rest. Ooh, and there it is. Just a touch there. Akari losing out on that one. Four to two in favor of the Cream Line Cool Smashers. That's Panaga on the service line, trying to continue this rally from the Cool Smashers. And even the blocking's on point. Set Domingo with another one. Or in Eliza Valdez as well. She wasn't able to make a comeback in uh, set number three, but she gets her first block point of this set. Three-point lead here. Make that two after the service error. Again, it'll be really interesting to see just how Akari responds to that disappointment of a third frame. We said it was painful. It, you saw it in their faces during the interval between frames. Santiago Manabat sends us straight to the net. And unfortunately, giving the point and the ball back to the Green Line Two Smashers. Akari doubled up on the unforced errors department in set number three compared to Cream Line. Spots Carlos. Genesis. Genesis for the ball touch. There was a check ball. Said Domingo knew it. No challenge on the side of Cream Line. Two-point lead for the Cream Line Cool Smashers as Trisha Genesis, who just got over the hump of uh, being starstruck on the floor, has been performing really well here for the Kyrie Chargers. The save there, kept alive by De Guzman. Liza Valdez sending that free. Not the best pass there. Madrigal couldn't score from that one as Eliza Valdez will try a little push of her own. Gia looking for Eliza. Now Eliza Valdez is leading the charge for the Cool Smashers as they want to end this in four sets. Another look at that. And trying to end the semi's dreams here of the Kari Chargers. Looking for Din Din. Gia to Gemma. What a save there from Din Din. As Nisperas was blocked, so push that across. Gia looking for Gemma again. Just sneaking in through the line. And we go to our first technical timeout, 8 to 4 in favor of Premine.
Welcome back. You're watching PVL Invitational Conference, where Dakari Chargers are looking to survive against the Dreamline Cool Smashers. 8 to 4 in favor of Dreamline at the moment here in set number 4. Dreamline getting off to a good start here as we get ready to watch the FIBA Basketball World Cup. Come and watch the best basketball players in the globe and cheer them on live inside the venues. The FIBA Basketball World Cup 2023 single game pass is now available for as low as 499 pesos. Get your tickets at SM Tickets, Ticketnet, or philippine-ticketing.worldcup.basketball. Eliza Valdez on the service line. She's been camped there for quite some time for the Creamline Cool Smashers. Fitness Peros. Gia. Oh, played that really quickly. Got my partner all excited with the setup and the finish. Ted Domingo has been uh, doing her job in defending the net for Dreamline, but look at that back quick play from the Guzman. You gotta ooh and ah when you see plays like that. And when you get sets like that from the Guzman, parang may hiya ka na lang pag hindi mo mapapatay yung bola. And we're still live here, Gia to Gemma. And Gemma finds the gap in the middle of the defense. Alaluan will check in for the very first time. He will be replacing uh, Madrigal. More substitutions on the side of Akari, but that will not be allowed. So right now, Akari looking for something different. Six-point lead. Eliza on the service line. Gemma. Blocking works so far. Because Carlos unable to get it past the Spanos. Carries blocking, still kicking here in uh, the fourth set. They're down by five points. And uh, Coach Jorge is looking at Michelle Cobb and Ellie Soyuz. A while ago, that was supposed to be three substitutions on the side of Akari. Still a five point lead here for Creamline, though. Make that six. Vicente Bingo, it's her turn now to on the points for the Dreamland Cool Smashers. All right, two points here in the frame, nine overall. Eleven to five. Now this is the reverse of how set number three was. Sneaky shot there from uh, Jaja Maraginot. And you know, that gave Akari something to smile about for sure. Fooled everyone. 11 6. Still a ways to go here for the Akari Chargers to keep close, keep in touch. De Jesus. Managa. Esperos. Ooh. Oh, she enjoyed that hit. 16 big points for Faith Esperos after a shaky start. Now she's helping Vincent Santiago Manavan in the scoring department. To try to challenge Dreamline to a five-setter. Well, Santiago Manavan also with 16 points, so they combined for 32. Gemma with the push. Ravenna. Looking for Nisperos again. Eliza with the defensive effort. And Gemma Galanza unable to finish. Chance ball here. Eliza Valdez de Guzman. And we're still going. Santiago Manabat. Gemma Galanza. Not that time. Who has the finishing touch here? Nisperos. Faith Esperos with the hammer, and I like what Trisha Genesis did. Dahil medyo mabilis na ibalikan ng bola, she put that ball up just enough height to actually slow things down for the setter in Jaja Marginot. And uh, pagdating sa transition play, kailangan mataas yung first pass, hayaan mong pabilisin ng setter papunta sa attackers. 
I'll credit also the effort from Danny Ravenna a while ago and Coach Jorge reminding her to get back in there. <laughs> Getting an extra push from <laughs> Coach Jorge. Because man looking for Gemma. And Akari will take advantage of uh, errors like that. 11 to 9 in favor of the Cleveland Cool Smashers, but Akari refused to go away. Let's listen in. The Cleveland Cool Smashers trying to stop any momentum Akari is building. And of course, speaking of building, the anticipation for the next game is also building. Petrogas against the Mucho Flying Titans right after this, so don't go away. But on to the matter at hand for the meantime, as the Akari Chargers are looking to come back in this one. Joanna Mariginoz. And uh, that was Carly Hernandez from the Photon Tornadoes, who I think won a while ago in five sets. The score was 18-16, so congratulations to Photon for getting their first win. Santiago Manabat. They go back to Tots Carlos, who got a lot of runway on that, but then the timing just a bit off. Kari now down by a single point. It's it has been a seesaw battle. At one point, you see fluid motion from uh, Cream Line, then all of a sudden, sila naman yung magkakaroon ng mga miscues. Then Akari will take over, and in the end, magkakaroon naman ng errors yung Akari. So, in this fourth set, we're really looking for consistency for both of our teams. De Guzman. Now, Jem Galanza. Well, the net defense really acted there for Akari. And Nisperos, first to the ball, first to the point. Get Nisperos needing the 20-point mark for the Chargers. This game is far from over. 18 already for Faith. As we take a look at this again. Oh, just unable to get to that top of the green line. Guzman. And Panaga leads the lead back to Dreamline Cool Smashers. And it's been back and forth. It's been ultra competitive here. It's been a question of who could hold on, who could sustain momentum. Giamorado de Guzman. Still alive here. Nisperos. Can they keep it this one? And not that time despite all the effort. Great defensive effort for Trisha Genesis. Nagkulang lang sa coverage ito ng Akari. Gemma Galanza getting that block point against Faith Nisperos. Two-point lead here for Greenline Cool Smashers as Gia, who has been so good on the service line the entire conference, is continuing her efforts here today. Santiago Manabat. And what a stop that was. Oh. Well, stop her once. Yes, stop her twice. Not that time. No chance for Greenline to pop that ball up. Single block. Strong cross court hit down hard for Dindin Santiago Manabat. And you could see what that meant to her. Agnes Peros. Already here with 16 points, 18 points rather. Hey, Guzman. Gemma Galanza. And Gemma. Already for Gemma. 
And five points in this frame. Fourteen to twelve. Gemma with five points in this set alone. Genesis. Yes, there was a check ball. Oh, they need a little rally here. They need a little momentum. And Genesis is the start. Or at least she hopes to be. Matas din kasi lagi yung daan ng bola ni Trisha Genesis, even though she is quite undersized compared to other outside hitters. That's why she has a higher success rate in getting it off the fingertips of the middles of cream line. And just dunking that down. A Santiago Manabat doing what is expected of her, really. 18 points already. 14 all. Don't blink, folks. Makasla. A crucial ace here for the Kari Chargers, and they now are in the driver's seat. Already, that was her second service ace of the game. Makaslang looking, hopefully, for a third. Lice Valdez just pushed that across. Now Scott Scarlett's his turn. He's to so the defensive effort. Maslang looking for Din Din. Gia. Who talks? Santiago Manaba. And did not get the angle or the timing right there. Tied ball game once more. And Neil, it feels almost like a battle of attrition here. They're just going back and forth and see which one would break. Pressure test again. <laughs> We're at 15 all. That was an excellent pass from uh, Genesis. Anaga, can she save it? Yes, she can. Just barely. Oh, oh and a light of <laughs> She did not mean that, but she'll take it. One point lead, 16-15, and what a way to send us to our second technical timeout. We'll be right back. Welcome back to PVL here with the Akari Chargers trading by one to the Green Line Cool Smashers. Let's just appreciate or try to figure out rather what <laughs> happened here. So I like about this. You can't tell me that that was intentional. It just happened. <laughs> he just wanted to put that ball over. It was a free ball for Akari, but nobody picked that ball up. And take a look at this. Fate Nesperos against Eliza Valdez. Two generations of high-flying scorers here for the Atenea Blue Eagles uh, going up against each other, both in very different parts of their careers. As you take a look at some of the numbers as we saw a while ago, so the efficiency there in the Spares side, but then let's see what Eliza could end up with here today. Hallelujah, and uh, getting uh, crucial check balls right now. Double touch called on a cream line. So Akari tied things up once again. So we saw a while ago 
that no lead is safe. A while, uh, here in the fourth frame in particular, it was Creamline who got off to a sizable advantage. They led by as much as six points here, talking about Creamline, and now we're all tied up at 16 apiece. So Akari doing a good job clawing their way back into contention here. Again, fighting for their playoff lives, looking for a fifth frame. And Eliza Valdez unable to, well, she didn't get the point, but then a net touch means that Akari give it back to Dreamline anyway. Baba and Negrito will make their way in. Michelle Gumabao, Kyle Negrito, back in the ball game here for Creamline Cool Smashers as they look to offer something a bit different here against Kari. Oh, oh, barely stayed in. Cobb looking for Soyud. Negrito to Gumabao. And another net touch to it from Akari. And another important incident for them as it's now a 2.3 here for Dreamline Cool Smashers. And that was the second uh, net violation for Akari. Dani Ravenna and Bang Pinar do doing the their jobs, popping these balls up. But these unforced errors are just killing Akari. Timeout for the Chargers. Huh? But now we're back. Huh? Look higher. Look higher. Close your hand and go. Huh? Only here. Come on. Good point. Good point. Come on. Side down to you. Don't need to be a pass. You have two guys there. Well, the Akari Chargers trying to get themselves organized again. Trailing by two against the Cream Line Cool Smashers. And Michelle Gumabao, as well as Dan Negrito, the latest substitutions here for the Cream Line squad, trying to give that little kick to end this one. And an ace there, as Faith Nesperos was unable to control it. That was an issue for Faith in set number one. And hopefully, she'll be hoping that that doesn't happen again for the rest of this one. Let's take a look at that serve. Oh, kumaliwa <laughs> yung service ni Kyle Negrito. Again, uh, Faith Nesperos being the target there. Negrito with the setup. To Kumabao. Soyun. Great oh. cover and down and the push. Impact substitutions for the Green Line Pools matches. Lahat ng substitutions ng Akari may katapat din na substitutions ang um, Green Line. And right now, Kyle Negrito is just controlling uh, this ball game. Back to back points. One of her service ace, the second. Uh, that push. Kyle Negrito has been camped on that service line for quite some time. And she'll stay there because she is lethal. Sometimes players actually prefer to receive jump serves compared to floaters. Because you can never tell kung saan babagsak yung mga floaters. That's three quick points for Kyle Negrito and Akari will burn another timeout. My pets only, okay? Both of you. They burden her a timeout, and why not? 5 0 run for the Creamline Cool Smashers. And a very excited Risa Sato, of course, with a highlight celebration once more that got all the fans here at the Phil Sports Arena excited. But take a look at the performance here of Kevin Grito, who has been superb here 
on the service line when she needed the most. Two aces already, and all her points coming in this frame. Three points to her name. Genesis. Umabao and Domingo. Rolls like twin towers. What a turnaround for Dreamline. We were tied at 16 apiece. Now we're at 22 16. The credit both of it to Kyle Negrito. And the smiles are wide here for the Creamline Pool Smashers as Negrito. Esperos can end the drought. They go to Michelle Gumabao. MG, not that time. Santiago Manaba. Gemma looking for Eliza Valdez. Punches that through. Aluan. Eliza upstream. Dreamline closing in on Akari. Two points away from getting their fourth straight win of the Invitationals. Eliza Valdez adding on to the finishes touches. But what about Kyle Negrito, who has just been amazing here in the end game in set number four? Michelle Gumabao. Pineda kept that alive. Nesperos. Mayalua. Oh, that's still a good ball. Chance ball here for Akari. Mayalua again. Well, something had to give. <laughs> and after incredible saves on the side of Creamline, Maluan finally ends the drought here for Akari, and not a moment too late. Incredible foot save from Atienza. But Akari still got that point off that Maluan slide. And now Akari have a mountain to climb here. And that's one step up. Fermentilia with a much needed point, back to back points here for Akari. Fermentilia. Negrito. Now Gumaba. Did we not say that the substitutes made such a big impact yeah. in the set? Yeah, definitely. The top fourth set, we really have to give it to the subs of Coach Sherwin Meneses. And now Eliza Valdez with a chance to end it here. Sign yung build up natin. <laughs> <laughs> But now Akari have to pitch a perfect game from the service line if they want to have a shout of extending this. We've seen stranger things. But Creamline want to get this done. Negrito. Galanza. Akari goes to Nisperos. Greenland Cool Smashers, heartbreak for the Akari Chargers, three sets to one. Nisperos with the windup and the swing, but Saint Domingo and Michelle Gumabao just shut the door. That was, the ball was on and its way out, but Malaluan got a hand on that. From the carry, they were the only team in the full phase that got set to win against the Creamline Pool Smashers. They almost had it, especially in set number three. But a long way to go for the Chargers, and they will gear up for the next conference as they are officially out of contention for the semifinals. Out of contention for the semifinals, but what an exciting future for the Akari Chargers, regardless. We live this game and all PBL games and stories anytime, anywhere on the Philippines Live app. Download and subscribe now for as low as 99 pesos per month. Four set three to one in favor of Dreamline. We have a lot more to talk about here. We'll be right back.
three sets to one in favor of the Greenland Cool Smashers. 25 to 19 was how that final one ended. As we await Kaila King Su, who will be joined by a certain Gemma Galanza in just a bit. And she's with her right now. Kaila, take it away. Hi, I'm here with Gemma Galanza, our best player of the game, with 16 points, 13 attacks, one block, and two aces. So, una una, big congratulations to you. And of course, to Creamline for keeping your record spotless as you enter the semis. So, we have to talk about it first of all. Akari is the first team to challenge you to four sets. So, ano yung mga biggest in game adjustments na ginawa niya today? Um, medyo naglak kami sa blocking, sa defense. So, talagang kinakapa namin talaga yung play nila and yung timing talaga namin sa mga palo nila. So, po. Tapos, Creamline is well known for the undeniable chemistry na mayroon kayo at that you built throughout the years. So, how did this strong connection you have play to your advantage during tight games like this one? Uh, basta sinasabi lang namin sa isa't isa na kakapitan namin to kahit gano'n kalayo. Madami na kaming mga a score na malayo na talaga nahahabol. So ngayon, ito talaga sa challenge kami. So nilaban lang namin. And yun nga, uh, thank you din sa connection and communication na meron ang team. Now, Gemma, is there anyone you want to greet? Go ahead. Ah, hello po sa lahat ng mga Tiga Laguna, kay Ma'am Bog, kay Ma'am Judith, um, um, sa family ko, kay Natita Top, Sita Joy, at sa lahat po ng Creamline fans, hello! Thank you so much! There you have it. That was Gemma Galanza, our best player of the game. Congrats once again to Creamline. And we'll see you in the semis. Now back to the panel. Thank you very much. I was Kyla King Su alongside Gemma Galanza. Let's take a look at the match statistics here between Akari Chargers and Creamline Cool Smashers. Again, it really barely anything in between these two. Uh, set number one, Akari got off to a really slow start. But then they show their metal in sets two, three, and four. In the end, Creamline just dominated the, the serving department. There were a lot of sequences where in Nahirapan yung Akari to set up their offense. Well, you know, this Akari Chargers team, uh, commiserations to them for being eliminated here in this conference. But Creamline, what a performance, and they'll hope to take momentum going into the next round in the semifinals. And of course, when you take a look at Creamline and the form that they're in, it is no surprise that they are one of the contenders for the title. Up next, though, we have a Petrogas Angels with Chocomo to find the Flying Titans matchup, and that should be really exciting. Thank you for joining us here today. I'm Paolo De Rosario alongside Neil Flores. Kala Kinsu was our courtside reporter. Don't go away. A lot more volleyball up next. Chamba! Chamba! Kita nyo, Chamba! <laughs> Alam mo, achievements sa akin basta makablock ako. Never naman ako pumalo ng sharp cross. Sino ba naman ako para pumalo? Kung mapapansin nyo and mapapanood nyo itong game na to, Chamba itong larong to. All smarts. Kasi sabi ka ni Coach Ramin, hindi mo naman kailangan maging sobrang lakas. Kasi volleyball is all about smarts din naman eh. Mag-agree kayo! <laughs> Fight,